Um, my name is Katrin, and I used to be the head of operation and also RIP lead on the Juventa while it was in operation in 2016 and 2017. Is it true that uh, one of your uh, rescue operation uh, was interrupted by the Italian authorities uh, that asked you to uh, get back to the port? It was in April, late April, early May 2017. I think weird happened because the MRCC, the Rescue Coordination Center, instructed us to not transfer all people, as it was usually the case, to the other ships, but they wanted us to keep five people. So we expected um, some more boats to arrive, and obviously it's necessary to keep as many assets as possible in the area. Yet they insisted on us returning to Lampedusa, and um, on the way north, we um, had the information that there were already seven boats in distress that were reported and the ships uh, down south asked us for support. And that was a very difficult situation when we had um, sort of the, in, the, the clear instruction from the rescue coordination center to uh, drive north to drive away of existing distress cases and of ships that are um, attempting to assist those boats in distress, but clearly saying we cannot manage by ourselves. We need your help. Please, Juventa, turn around and come and assist us. While the rescue coordination centers are like, no, you are going north. What struck me most when I learned that this was the moment when the bug was planted on the bridge was that on that day when we were forced to leave the area of operation and that night we lost five boats with I mean approximately around a thousand people that wouldn't have gone missing if the Juventa wasn't forced to return to Lampedusa is important to talk about our trial in a way to uh, raise awareness about the general situation that uh, we are facing in Europe but also over and beyond Europe's um, borders. Also when we're dealing with foreigners it's sort of okay to not apply um, the, the kind of human rights that usually apply to everybody. It's legitimizing um, acting in a way towards people who need support, towards people who are seeking freedom of movement, that is um, dehumanizing. While looking at the trial against the Juventa crew, it's certainly never been about um, justice or even restoring justice. But if you want to uh, find a crime in this context, then it is um, the very fact that people are not only left to die on Europe's border, but they are also proactively killed. Um, there's um, so there's an absolute lack or absence of legal pathways to travel into Europe. We have clearly seen that this trial is not only a politically motivated, but also has in so many ways not met standards of a fair trial. And Two things are important for me to point out. One of that is that um, already with the amount of um, attention and also um, yeah, privilege that we are going through this trial with, we are experiencing a lack of fair trial standards that is appalling and shocking. And I can only imagine what it is like for people who um, have less means to fight for their own rights. There's only one possible outcome uh, that these charges against us are dropped once and for all.